Hi, this is Miles Marie, the Soldier of Mary. Today I'm going to begin my analysis of a group that call themselves the Divine Messengers, Mesangeros Divinos, and they have a YouTube channel that is getting increasingly popular, which uh, calls itself Misericordia Maria Television. The reason I feel called to make this video is because I noticed on my YouTube analytics that quite a few people that watch my channel are also watching this channel on YouTube. Their Spanish channel has 120,000 subscribers. I think their English language one, which is actually more or less the same content with dubbing or subtitles, that has, I think, 30 or 40,000 subscribers. So, and, and a lot of faithful Catholics, clearly, who are watching my channel, are watching this channel. So I need to talk and explain some of the things that you need to know about this group, which look from the outside to be a Catholic group. But in fact, they're a new age cult with really nothing but superficial similarity to the Catholic faith. Unfortunately, there are no critical articles about this group in English. You can't find anything about them in English. I found an article on Alatea, a Spanish article on, on Alatea, which is a, a Catholic website in case you don't know. A lot of this video is drawn from that article. It's an excellent article. Please check it out on the link printed in the description area. Okay, an introduction into the group. On the 8th of November in the year 2012, the Vicar General of the Diocese of Salto, Uruguay, sent a communique to the Catholic community about the group called the Order of Grace and Mercy, based at the so-called House of Redemption, led by Elizabeth Caesar, now known as Mother Shimini of Montserrat. She's this woman that you're seeing on the screen now. The communique made it clear that it was talking about a group that isn't Catholic, but rather a possible cult, syncretist with a Christian facade whose doctrinal beliefs are a Gnostic esoteric mix that offers worship towards supposed extraterrestrials. According to the communique of the Bishop of Salta, the doctrine of the group in question presents itself in forms and language with an affinity to the Catholic faith. And that's the thing that generates the most confusion and is an effective and deceptive proselytizing means for Catholics. And that's the reason why I'm doing this video, because I'm concerned about that. The group shows a great devotion to the Virgin, who they call by the title of Mendra. They claim to have received messages and apparitions from her since the year 2007, and they give her the title of the Mother of the Divine Conception of the Trinity. And that's a strange title, right? Mother of the Divine Conception of the Trinity. The Trinity, according to Catholic faith, was not conceived. They invite people to pray the rosary, but with esoteric elements. And they use the words of John Paul II when talking about prayer. They use especially the figure of Padre Pio, who they call Muriel, and other saints who supposedly reveal to them new forms of prayer. Jesus Christ they call Samana. They believe that he is Adam number 11, or master of the circle, and that he was the product of a project of genetic engineering carried out by extraterrestrials of the most high hierarchies and by the astral observers in a spaceship laboratory with a 50 kilometer diameter. And you know, like Scientology, like Mormonism, like all the cults, they don't put this one straight on their website. You've got to dig a bit deeper to find this truth that they believe in. Because if they had that on their front page, people would immediately be deterred from it. They've got a Q&A section on their website. That's not in the Q&A section. The members appear as friars and nuns with the rosary in their hand and they have attended mass in the local parishes of the area. Indeed, because of this, the diocesan bishop has prohibited them from receiving Holy Communion, given the incompatibility of their doctrines and the Catholic faith, and the confusion they are creating for the faithful in seeing them dressed as monks and nuns in Catholic churches. These members would often receive the sacraments 
and then try to invite the parishioners to their activities as if they were inviting them to events of any other kind of Catholic movement or activities of a Catholic religious congregation. So the group and its members have been excommunicated. They don't put that on their website either. They claim that Our Lady wants them outside the church because that way they can reach more people. In fact, they've been excommunicated from the Catholic Church. They have nothing to do with the Catholic Church because their doctrine is so opposed to Catholic faith and morals. They invite people to events called the Marathon of Divine Mercy, the Vigil of Marian Prayer, and other activities with a confusing character aimed at drawing parishioners. Sometimes they even include devotional material to Mother Teresa of Calcutta, and also in their material they have used the messages of the Virgin of Medjugorje. And that's something that doesn't surprise me. A lot of her messages are very vague, and although they're not talking about aliens, they are often talking about peace. They're talking about stuff that's slightly esoteric, slightly kind of superficial, and it plays into the usage of a New Age group that understands these vague words in quite a different way. With a pious language, they mix Jesus Christ and the Virgin Mary with extraterrestrials, reincarnation, the law of karma, the ascended masters, Atlantis, the nine of Andromeda, the hierarchies of the parable universe, King Arthur, and energy transmutation. On their website, they define themselves as an association with a philosophical, ecumenical, humanitarian, and cultural character, not tied to any religion, but living the Christian life in its essence. They eat a vegetarian diet and also practice Reiki. It seems like our Lord and Our Lady appear to this trio of visionaries, and mainly in Uruguay, also in Brazil. And the thing about the messages is they're pretty apocalyptic at times. At times, they're talking about aliens coming to rescue humanity, the idea that the planet is getting more and more wounded, but eventually the aliens are going to come and rescue us. It sounds a little bit like that cult that you had in the US that didn't end very nicely, all those members killing themselves when that comet passed by, thinking that they're going to join the aliens on the back of the comet. And a lot of the press in Uruguay has been really concerned because of the apocalyptic tone of the messages. The inspiration of the group is a guy called Jose Trigorino, and he was a famous New Age writer, teacher from Brazil. And he, if you listen to any of the messages of this group, they make reference to this guy. And if you go on his website, he's now passed away, but if you go on his website and look at his books, the truth is plain as to what this group is really about. You know, on their, on their website, they don't mention too much about his teaching, but they do mention him and that he's their inspiration. But you go on his website and look at his material, and he puts himself as one of the founders of their group and they accept that he's a founder of their group. He is talking all the time about extraterrestrial cult. He's talking about being purified by energy, achieving new estates of consciousness, being transformed in your body. He's talking about being possessed by this spirit, a very new age attitude. This guy founded a community, more of a traditional new age hippie commune, kind of community but he was there and the mother shimini she went down to him saying to him look i've had these messages of the virgin telling me to come to you and he said yes the virgin told me that you were going to come and they're really chained to this guy and his teachings and so whenever you see them talking about the virgin mary they're not really talking about the historical Mary of Nazareth. They're talking about a divine consciousness manifested in this way, a kind of new age force that manifests itself in the Virgin. In fact, for them, it seems like the Virgin, this manifestation of the divinity, is kind of more important than our Lord, 
who is this genetically engineered character that the aliens created to teach us about the divine energy. And tied to this is all this stuff about planetary healing. So the motive that they have for praying and meditation is all about healing our planet, which is in some way being wounded. And so the prayers of the rosary, the meditation, it's kind of like, like the, 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 the words of the rosary are not the thing that they're focusing on. They're using them as a means of contact with this divine force so that they can heal our wounded planet that is about to die. And in fact, the members of the sect are kind of an elite group because they've set themselves aside or they've been called aside to do this work of healing of the planet. And so it makes the members of the sect kind of the privileged few that are in contact with divine energies and planetary energies. And they are on this special mission of healing the planet and becoming more infused with this divine energy so it's deeply Gnostic. It's deeply Gnostic. It has these different strands of ideas that seem to be kind of incompatible. You've got the one thing, this idea of the spaceship with our Lord, where our Lord Jesus Christ was created. You've got these extraterrestrial beings who are governing things and who gave us our Lord Jesus Christ. Then there's a planet which seems to be an energy source. It's kind of divine in itself. And then there's also Our Lady, who's like this divine universe consciousness that's manifested in these visions of the Virgin Mary. And it's all kind of weird, but that's how Gnosticism is. And for me, it's the way they use the Hail Mary, the way they use the Divine Mercy Prayer, it's a little bit like someone like Carl Jung. Carl Jung, where, where he, if you asked him something like, do you believe in God? He would say, yes, I do believe in God. Of course I believe in God. Yes, I believe in Jesus Christ, the son of God. But actually, you've got to be pretty smart and scratch away. And you realize, actually, I, what he says when he means the word God is not what we mean when we mean the word God. And when he says Jesus Christ is son of God, it's not what we mean by son of God. It's kind of more like consciousness, goodness. And so there's like this, so for this group, that the leaders of this group, the members, the key players, the visionaries, they're doing this. They're doing this the whole time. They're talking about Our Lady. They're talking about divine mercy. And for them, the words have a meaning completely different from us and probably completely different from the vast majority of the people watching their channel. I've watched loads of their videos, unfortunately, now, and an awful lot of them, you can just think you're listening to some kind of Catholic stuff. But every now and then, there's something that if you're smart and if you're discerning, you notice, wait a minute, that's not quite right. And the whole time, though, the visionaries, the seers, are thinking about something very different from the average Catholic viewer who's watching their channel. One of the problems that immediately alerted me to the, the dodgy nature of this group was watching the guy Elias offering what looked like Holy Mass. But in fact, as I watched the video, it was quite clear this guy had no training in liturgy at all. He clearly never been to a seminary. I thought to myself, I thought to myself, where was this guy trained to be a priest? And then I discovered he wasn't a priest. He had never been to seminary. Our Lord himself apparently ordained him. Our Lord ordained him. And another whole group of guys as well were ordained. But it seems like our Lord didn't teach him how to offer mass greatly. It's completely bizarre liturgy that he offers, which has kind of got a superficial similarity to the Novus Ordo, but is but is but is not even comparable to the, the dignity of the Novus Ordo. It's a it's like a Protestant -y communion service of some kind. And you can see that offered quite a lot on their channel. There's loads of problems with this group. I hope if you've been watching them up to now, I have been able to strip away some of the layers and maybe some of the things that you kind of thought, oh, that sounds a bit strange. Maybe now you're beginning to understand why. Stay away from this group. 
They're clearly growing. They're clearly amassing more and more money. And you know what? The reason I can tell they've got money is because they are not interested in monetizing their YouTube channel. <laughs> There's so many Catholics out there with their big YouTube channels that have monetized them. So you get, you get announcements, advertisements all the time when you're watching a sermon or homily, even hearing the rosary being prayed. These guys, they're doing well financially because they're producing fantastic quality videos and they're not resorting to any advertisement from YouTube. They're getting money and they're getting donations in from all over the world. They haven't spread too much into the English language, but I think that's coming. I think we need to be very aware of these guys and make sure to avert people away from them and back to the true messages of Our Lady principally given at Fatima and to the traditional doctrines of the Catholic faith, the only faith that can save you, outside of which there is no salvation. And this thing is a new religion, a completely new religion, a bit like Mormonism. You know, Mormonism, it talks about our Lord. And when you meet a Mormon missionary on the street, he says, yes, I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. But you scratch the surface into their theology and you understand that the Jesus of Mormonism is a very different figure. You know, another alien space creature, a bit like these guys, really. So stay away from this group and make sure to prevent others from going to any events or conferences advertised by this heretical sect. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.